This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez. We turn now to the acclaimed Chinese artist and activist Ai Weiwei. In November, he had an exhibit in London canceled after he wrote a social media post where he criticized the United States for its longtime financial support of Israel. Ai Weiwei has previously expressed support for Palestinians. He made a 2016 documentary that includes Gaza in the global refugee crisis called Human Flow. Ai Weiwei is one of the world's most acclaimed artists. In 2011, he was arrested at the Beijing airport, held for 81 days without charge. He's been living in exile since 2015. He's joining us here in New York City ahead of his event tonight at Town Hall that's part of PEN America's PEN Out Loud series, when he'll discuss his new graphic memoir, Zodiac. Ai Weiwei, welcome back to Democracy Now! Let's start with that canceled London exhibit. What happened? Well, and after I post, uh, uh, you know, a, a single line on Twitter, you know, I, I never noticed uh, people really uh, become so uh, sensitive or so uh, crazy about my post. Uh, basically, post that described the situation about the Israeli uh, uh, relations with the U.S. and which is uh, very, uh, uh, very. Uh, you know, it's very subjective. It's it's, it's not a, it's not a from my point of view, but it's really a general facts. So then the you know the gallery are uh, actually not one gallery, but uh, galleries in Paris and in London. Uh, they get very worried, and uh, I still don't know exactly the reason uh, why they have to worry about uh, artists. Uh, uh, a single line, you know, uh, but uh, rather they says they want to uh, avoid this kind of argument and they're trying to protect my interests. So they postponed my uh, shows, not one, but uh, altogether four shows. So <laughs> I guess that proved what I'm saying in, on Twitter is, uh, is, uh, is correct, uh, because there's uh, all all, all, all over in the world, uh, you know, there's a strong censorship about different voices uh, towards this kind of conflicts, and the conflicts continues getting so massive, and also seems uh, it's not going to stop. So by doing oh. that, uh, yes, I many of my shows being cancelled. So. Were you surprised uh, by the uh, the the reaction, uh, given that you've been uh, uh, not only are you one of the most celebrated uh, uh, artists uh, in, from China in the West, but also uh, you've been a, a vocal supporter of the Palestinians for years? I I, I am surprised. I think we are uh, should live in a, a more free society. And uh, who, uh, which can allow the different uh, opinions uh, and the voice, and and but uh, to have this kind of devastating uh, case to in dealing with uh, art community, not only art community but uh, also films or literature, I think it is uh, it shows a, a, a really very bad in uh, you know, the backwards uh, in terms of uh, freedom of expression human rights and uh, you know all those issues um, you know, there are not many Chinese artists as celebrated and embraced by the West as you are, Ai Weiwei. Were you surprised by the swift retaliation um, against um, your position, which is really critiquing the West uh, in London, Britain, and the U.S. when it comes to supporting the Israeli government when it comes to the assault on Gaza? Um, I think uh, maybe I was ce celebrated for the wrong reason, <laughs> and uh, but still, uh, as an artist, I'm uh, I have to de uh, you know fight for the human dignity and uh, also basic human rights, uh, freedom of speech, and uh, that's why I'm here. So.
Can I ask you about your graphic novel, Ai Weiwei? Talk about Zodiac and the message you're conveying in this graphic memoir. Well, uh, thanks for asking that. I, I uh, come to New York to to be part of this uh, graphic novel, um, uh, how do you say, the promotion. And uh, the novel is uh, take uh, us about uh, two, three years uh, with two uh, other uh, person uh, involved. And uh, so we made uh, the drawing and the storyline, and uh, you know it's it's very uh, I think it's pretty unique and uh, and also charming in telling my personal stories in relate to uh, Chinese uh, classic uh, stories, but also in relating to current event, both in China and in the West. So it's a uh, it's very detailed, uh, uh, and, and you know very visual narratives about uh, uh, the stories. Ai Weiwei, um, your message to the world right now: you are a dissident when it comes to China. You cannot live inside China. You're in exile. And now, uh, when you come and are embraced by the West, you find yourself canceled again and again. Um, your thoughts? Well, I think we are living in a very crucial time. Uh, globally, we, we have to rethink about our values or what we are really defending for. It's not only a challenge for individual artists, but also for the state. And uh, we are gradually uh, losing the ground of uh, uh, democracy or personal freedom, or even uh, we are still in uh, facing a, a crisis, a economic crisis, immigration uh, crisis. Also, we are possibly at the edge of the World War Three. You know, this is not an exaggeration. It can happen, and uh, I, I, I'm afraid this is uh, the facts. But uh, that would uh, uh, calling for every individual to to defend the humanity and the human rights. I want to thank you so much for being with us. Ai Weiwei, world-renowned Chinese artist and activist, has a new graphic memoir called Zodiac. He'll be speaking tonight at Town Hall in New York.